28 minutes after the top of the hour, he's popping off in the world of hip hop, man. So 50 Cent, you know, we talked about him making that commute or that move rather to Houston. He tipping and, off fo fo. Yo, big time, and he's really getting it yes, popping sir. out here in these streets. He has committed six hundred thousand dollars to an education program for Houston schools, man. Wow. So he out there really getting to it, man. It's uh part of the That's uh, what I'm talking about, 50. Yep. Fifth. Well, he should be like 60 cent or 600,000 cent, you know, well, whatever. None of that has a ring to it. But uh, so he partnered with the Houston ISD, Horizon United, and the G-Unity Foundation. And uh, yeah, they're like uh, helping students in schools learn various business skills so they can like, you know, create opportunities and focus on entrepreneurship while providing teens with lessons uh, at the college master's level. So that's pretty so, dope, man. Clap it up one time. I didn't realize he had yes, a thing yes, called, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. called G-Unity. I really like that. Yeah, that's, that's actually been, fire. That's been the initiative for G-Unity? a minute. G-Unity? That's what it's called. You didn't hear Crack just say it. With the Y. That's awesome. That's, yeah, that's I like it. Positive. All right, we're moving on. Let's talk about 50 Cent. Uh, still. Oh, he, uh, I was like, wait. <laughs> now, to help pay for that $600,000, he still wants the $37,000 that Tierra Marie owes her <laughs> okay. from, uh, from petty, back in uh, 2019. Oh, come on, man. He's still going after that damn 37000 Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Here's the crazy thing. So, like, you know, I fronted somebody $5,000 a couple years ago, mm-hmm. and they just paid me back. But I had to apply a certain level of pressure to get the five thousand dollars back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And sometimes what? you got to do what you got to do. Like, what did you do? Shake them down? I mean, hey, the tactics are the tactics. But at the end of the day, he huh, got his money back. Ching. <laughs> Moving on, another hip hop news. Police. Let's talk about mulatto. <laughs> Now, Mulatto has now officially changed the name to Lotto. Not like Lottery with the O, but L-A-T-T-O. Okay. Also not to be confused with Lotto. Latte, which is also a drink. Right. But, uh, so, yeah. So Delicious. It, it started popping up on different, like, you know, features that she was doing. I think it was uh, most notably with on the Tusi album, like, she was listed on there as Lotto. But now, mm-hmm. like, if you go on a Spotify and all other pages, boom, it says Lotto. So, please make a note of it, like they but, would say in the other Big thing. Lotto. Lotto. Didn't you tell us you had a big grand reveal for it and you didn't want to tell us what your name was going to change to? Mm-hmm. And then like, you just going to change it on Apple Music and not... I feel like because <laughs> the way it got rolled out with, like, you know, the features and stuff like that, it's just, ah, just hit the button. You yeah. Know, we knew that was coming. We knew it yeah. was coming. Uh, one thing She's still pop- fine. Huh? She's still fine to me. Even though Don't she got that beat forehead. Up. She got that, that forehead going on. Got a lot of forehead. That's what she got. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk about Kenya Barris real quick, man. He, uh, he can't stop, won't stop. So, you know, he gave you blackish. He gave you grownish. He gave you, was this show called Woke? Mixed Dish. Mixed Dish. Mixed Dish is my other show. I love them all. What was the Me joint too. you had on Netflix? Um, Black, Black AF. AF, which was great, too. It was a good show. People hated yeah, it. Yeah, that was him. Yeah. He now has good. a new project coming out called Brownish. And uh, okay. he tapped in with Eva Longoria to help put it together. And the series is centering around a modern Latinx family. And uh, one person who was over it said, I wish they would stop this ish. <laughs> stop yeah. ish. Some people was upset with him because he's doing it with Eva Longoria. Because, you know, they're saying that he always does, like, the lighter skin, mm. black uh, kids and stuff like that, or the lighter skin woman. So mm. some people was, like, getting, getting him a little backlash. All right, cool. So, like, if you had to pivot and not use Eva Longoria, me and Angie was talking about a little while ago. I'm like, okay, America Ferreira. You know what I'm saying? She like is kind of dope. She just got finished wrapping up Superstore, so she got some time on her hands. Who else would you put in there that people know like that? Regina King. Let's go. I love her. Uh, she's, still, <laughs> she's still black-ish. Oh, I thought you said someone black. My fault. No, nah, I'm just saying like a darker skin, like Latin person, if that's the issue. Oh. oh, okay. Well, you got me. Uh, exactly. Sorry. So I'm you go with the name that everybody knows, somebody who has proven success and that you could afford, because Salma Hayek ain't going to do a sit But uh, would you sitcom. consider her brown? Consider Latin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll work. They need to do a show called Divorce Dish. Yeah. That'll work too. You should be on that. Word. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for me. This is the stories I'm following Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud, H E A D K R A C K. We are the morning hustle.